I just heard a guy on a YouTube video say, among other things, perception is reality. And I just want to take a moment to say, no, perception is not reality. Perception is part of reality, certainly. And one individual's subjective experience is a part of reality, but it is a very small part. It's ephemeral, and no one else can quite share that person's subjective experience. That subjective experience is important. A person has a right to think what they think. Well, they think what they think, whether or not they have a right to it. It's just one of the things that is. But reality exists whether you perceive it or not, or whether anyone perceives it. That's sort of a defining attribute of reality. So, no, perception is not reality. As counter to that, things that you don't perceive can kill you before you ever perceive them, before you ever perceive that you're dying. An abdominal aortic aneurysm that you're unaware of and doesn't cause you any symptoms can suddenly rupture and you die. And then you're gone. Your perception just ends without warning, caused by something in reality, and you have no more perceptions at all. Your universe, your subjective universe, has ended. Reality continues. This is one of the reasons perception is not reality. I also often tell people that uh, if perception is what determines reality, if your perception is what determines reality, then no one should ever be able to be assassinated by being shot from behind in the head with a high-powered rifle or something along those lines. Because then you wouldn't be able to perceive something, and therefore what? It shouldn't kill you, should it? It shouldn't be able to kill you if you can't perceive it. But of course, we know that it does. And the ghost dancers and the boxer rebellion and all that belief doesn't stop bullets. It doesn't stop lightning. It doesn't stop tsunamis. It doesn't stop asteroids. It doesn't stop supernovas. It doesn't stop the second law of thermodynamics. Although it drop is driven by the second law of thermodynamics. So please, don't say stupid things like perception is reality. There's a bad instance of that concept in The Phantom Menace. It's one of the few parts of The Phantom Menace that really gets to me is when Qui-Gon says to Anakin, your focus determines your reality. And to me, I'm just like, that's not a legitimate interpretation, or at least it's not clear. Your focus certainly influences your experience of reality, but it does not determine your reality, because your reality is, I mean, unless you're using reality in some sloppy sense that makes it a far less useful word, your focus affects your experience. It doesn't determine it. It's not a one-to-one -one correlation. It's not, it, it, it skews it in one direction or another. So I, I think this is important. I think this is uh, just a common sloppy thinking habit. If perception is reality, when a person loses their sight, does the visual world cease to exist? Not even inside their heads, it doesn't, because if they've already had vision before they lost their sight, they can imagine in visual terms. But we can't perceive radio waves directly, or microwaves, or infrared, or ultraviolet, or x-rays, or gamma rays, or alpha particles, or beta particles. We can't perceive dark matter or dark energy. They apparently dominate the structure and evolution of the cosmos itself. Far more than we do, probably far more than we ever will. So please, don't say stupid things like perception is reality. You make me want to surprise you with something painful without explanation so that you understand that perception is not reality. Perception affects your experience of reality. Thank you. I just wanted to do a quick addendum to my earlier uh, 
audio recording about perception not being reality and make a couple of related counterclaims. How do you account for schizophrenics and people who take hallucinogens and delirious people whose perceptions are muddled and muddied and distorted and not consistent with external reality? How do you account for the irrationalities of dreams? <laughs> if perception is reality, then why do the rest of us not experience what they experience? Why do waking people not experience the things that dreaming people are experiencing? These are points to be made against the simple-minded trope that perception is reality. Now, if all you're saying is you think that perception is your experience of reality and that your experience is a real thing, okay, that's trivial. It's true. Your experience is part of reality, and your experience is real. It is also subjective. It is pertinent mainly to you. It has no effect on the motion of the Earth and its revolution or its orbit, or the sun's orbit around the center of the Milky Way, or the expanding cosmos, or the temperature from hour to hour, day to day, century to century, or whether or not you have a disease that you didn't know about that will someday kill you, but that doesn't give you any symptoms in the meantime. Perception is real, but it is only perception. It can be mistaken, as countless examples of optical illusions and auditory illusions and cognitive biases demonstrate. So please, don't elevate the concept of perception or quote-unquote lived experience uh, as opposed to, I guess, unlived experience or dead experience or something. I don't know. Experience. Experience. That's another pet peeve. Anyway, I just wanted to add those thoughts to what I said earlier. If you're quote-unquote watching this on YouTube, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're inclined. Hit the bell. Share if you're so inclined. Make a comment if you're interested. I'd certainly welcome all those things. And thank you.